All right, you guys. So in this video, what I wanted to do is show you how to sign up to the Ferrosphere uh, free 20 gigabyte and up to two project um, account that Ferro uh, gives you currently. This is 2023, still August. I am in scene 2023 in my settings, in my web share uh, portion of the actual settings. I don't have a domain. I don't have anything filled up over here filled in over here. If you want to read the instructions, you can hit the login web share and just follow this knowledge base article, which is really well laid out. But at this moment, what I'll do is I'll just run through it uh, with you. So I'll go into my um, browser and we'll go to ferrosphere.com where you have to sign up. I already have uh, some saved credentials, but we'll ignore those. We'll go into sign up and we will create and obviously this is where you will put in your email that you want to associate with this Ferrosphere account. I already have one so I have to make a pretend email here and I'll make it just Lucas Di at, uh, Lucas Di Carlo at allfreemail.net. Again this is just uh, obviously completely individual but we'll place it in here. We'll put in a password of some kind, call it There we go. Sign up. Now this password has nothing to do with the password that we're about to actually generate. Uh, we'll say no. I should have received a thank you for registering, which is showing here. So that you should have received that too. If you don't, then you may have to kind of look in your junk or wherever your email might have gone. But I'll confirm my email. That's okay. Confirming the email lets uh, the Ferrosphere uh, website ask you all of these questions now. So it'll say, Lucas, oops. Oh, that's middle name. Uh, well, none here. We'll just say the Carlo. Carlo, country code. Let's see. Oh. We are United States here. Here we go, phone number. Zip code 21801, Maryland for our location. And scroll down, industry architecture as built. All right, signing up. Now, what's important and useful to take note of is on this next page here. It'll ask you, hey, what's the actual workspace? And it'll propose a, no a name. You can change this at this point if you want. I don't know why there's a 90, but apparently there needs to be a number here. But regardless, everybody's will be unique. I will leave it be. You can make that workspace be part of the uh, European or the US workspace, but I am in the US, so I'll leave it. If you want to do a workspace description, this is where your company's information might be useful, but I'm just going to create it. So we'll say, yep, this is good enough for me. And what should happen right now is it will create a brand new uh, workspace in your login information. So I am logged in as Lucas DiCarlo with my email that we've already uh, kind of set up over here. So this is what I just used and it used that information to log me in. But at the end of the day, what is important is under workspaces, you will now have a Lucas DiCarlo 90 workspace here. So if I click this, you'll see that it'll take me to a new location. It wants to confirm cookies, we'll say okay. but. Pay attention to this, and this is the name of your workspace, and this is the name of your actual um, domain here. So, in my settings, what I'll do is I'll make sure that I'll type in this Lucas Di Carlo 90, and then this will be webshareamerica.com. Again, this is where I'm looking at it, lucas-dicarlo-90, webshare-america.com. That's correct. You can see that's correct. Now my username is the email, so it's Lucas That's the email that I uh, just signed up with. And my password, this is the password that is not the password that you just signed up with. 
that's the password that you will be generating here. So if you go into your workspace where you are, go into settings and under general settings, there's an uh, application password uh, section. And this section we'll call it, I don't know, we'll, you, you can call this anything, but I usually call it scene, hit enter. And it warns you that this password is only valid for this first session, but copy this password out, click, minimize, and we will paste this in here. This is really long and you can't really unhide it. If you need to regenerate your password, you would have to log in here and actually uh, create a brand new scene uh, uh, application password again. But currently I have this one um, copied out. So if I go back in here and I hit login and save credentials, program should log in. If you've typed in this and this and your username and your password properly, it'll say logged in. So now when I'm in my project that I need to upload, I'm finished here. We'll just view it very quickly. We have a classroom. This is where I'm actually sitting. I have five projects or five scans in here. If I hit export, I'll do export I can do export WebShare project. I've already created this, so I don't, I'm, not, I'm not going to recreate this, but you can. I'll now just upload. And when you do the upload, it's already going to inherit all of your settings here. And that's correct. You can upload your project point cloud if you have one created. I don't believe I have one created in here, so I'm not going to create it. But uh, name your project, give it uh, identifier, make it public or not. It's completely up to you. Put in your descriptions and your keywords for um, searching. But when you hit upload, what this does is it takes that data that was sitting on your computer and it's now actively actually uh, pushing it up to the cloud. And it, you will see that when we go into our projects over here and you go into your uh, workspace, you will be able to see the projects that you worked on. Now, currently, this is still updating, so or updating, uploading to that um, location, so we will not be able to see it until it's actually f fully finished. But let's see if there's at least some kind of a no, nothing yet. So we're still waiting for this to uh, successfully upload all of the information. But once this is done, we should be able to see this project called 2023-08-04 in that same space that I've just created on the Ferrosphere uh, website. All right, now we have the upload has finished. Do you want to open the uh, project in WebShare? Let's say no. Yes, you could. You could. You would make your life easier. But for the sake of the video, I'll say no, because what I'll do is we'll look at it here. And if you see that there's going to be a new project now. I just have to refresh it, but now this project exists here. So when I click it, now you have it in uh, WebShare. This is now in your Lucas DiCarlo 90 WebShareAmerica.com area. And now you can go ahead and actually uh, start playing with it, viewing it, looking at it, annotating it, doing whatever you need to do with it. And this is re really a supposedly, or this was really supposed to be a very quick video of showing you how this is all done, but ultimately it's finished. Uh, you don't have to do anything else anymore. Just uh, utilize the same login information for uploading uh, all of the data that you've already scanned. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below.